Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode. And I was just enjoying this beautiful sunlight right in the back here of this beautiful gibbon. Absolutely love it. Also, the noises that they make are just so cute. <laughs> just like, <"Ooh." laughs> oh, it has such a cute face. Anyways. <laughs> We are uh, still, we still need to do a lot of stuff right over here on the edge. Uh, so to make it all look nice and clean and connected to everything else, we have the beautiful elephant habitat right over here, which is being used a lot more now. I really do love that. But yeah, guests are not really walking right over here just yet. But I think as soon as we have a habitat right over there, it is definitely going to work out a lot. Oh, the whistle sounds are just so cool. <laughs> okay, I do want to do some things before we actually jump into... Oh, this is actually quite funny. We are going to build a chimpanzee habitat, which is going to be right next to the Western Lowland Gorilla, obviously. Uh, the boa constrictor is the most appealing exhibit animal right now. We have a red neck wallaby that is going to mature, but we're not going to pay attention to that. Do we have... Okay, we can replace this one. We can replace that one. Guests, yes. They are thirsty. Uh, toilets and 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 thirst are definitely an issue. Also, litter might still... Yeah, that litter is disgusting. We still have a litter issue here as well. So maybe we could actually just hire a few more staff members. I, I do want to hire a few more caretakers. And since your money is doing really well right now, I'm just going to put them down all over here. Five new ones, I think. Since our money is doing really well, I feel like we should also pay a little bit more attention to training everyone. Even though we need to pay attention, like, obviously, if we got to a turning point again where we're not earning money, we definitely got an issue here. But I, I do feel like now that our money is doing well, we should just pay attention to all these kind of things a little bit more. I'm going to put this on grade 3, going to put that one on grade 3. What do we have here? The meerkats can also go on grade 3. Wait a second, Lark Gibbon. Oh, we need to do the research still for those guys. Oh, there you go. We actually did not do any research. Okay, the rest is all good. So it's only the gibbon. So let's see. Okay, we can skip the gibbon. Koalas can go to grade 3 as well. Indian elephants are going to be very expensive. So I feel like I want to wait a little bit with the Indian elephant just yet. They don't have any issues with like breeding and such. So I think it's, it's not really that big of a deal. But yeah, just... Oh, wait, the Western Lowland Gorilla. Oh, yeah, that's also a pretty expensive one. So let's just wait with these two before we upgrade our food quality. Oh, actually, so our guests are, are pretty happy in our zoo right now. So, like, the happiness is 78%. So we do have some issues which we definitely need to look into. But as of right now, I don't think we really really need to do it straight away but it's definitely something to keep in mind we don't have any loans anymore we have some marketing campaigns how much is our marketing rating it's actually already five stars i was thinking like maybe we could do like an extra marketing rating but uh, or like a marketing uh, project but it's not really needed guest happiness rating could go a little bit higher so if we do pay attention to those things uh, it will get to five stars and the guest education rating is not exactly five stars. So research rating. Oh, that's doing advanced research. That tried. Okay, let's go and put. So maybe just small clot author and the Bengal tiger. So how is our education right now? Because now, okay, that one is probably just going towards that area. This should help to bring up the guest educational rating a little bit more. Education research complete 63%. Isn't that odd? Since we do have all the research here. Is that really just because of that given that it's not being researched at? I'm not sure. We actually need to look into that. Uh, the animal talks. Wait, work zone. 
Oh, does that really matter? I actually wonder. Like, this is in a work zone, but does it need to be in a work zone? I actually don't think so. Can I see what work zone this is in? Because I, I, I'm not sure if it still works if it is in a work zone. But <laughs> how do we check that? Is that this one? Wait, the Rhino Plaza? No, 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 no. How do we actually figure that out? Because I just want them to be out of any animal target. Oh, I think I, I will just try to figure that out off camera at some point. Okay, guests are happy, crime is being fixed, but we are doing that research, so that is all good. I don't get any messages here. Do we have everything turned on at this point? I guess so. I think I did change it. Yes, okay, so we should be getting messages, but our animals are doing really well, I guess, so we don't have to worry too much about that at this point either. So we have the redneck wallaby about to reach her. Do we need to worry about the amount of animals in here? We have 13. That is a lot, but they can also handle a lot. So as long as the space is all right. Oh, let's just click you, the adult. 89%. We, yes, we still have space to expand, so I think we don't have to worry about that. Is it going to rain? Look at that beautiful lighting right over there. It looks so gorgeous. Oh, right. Litter problems. Now I see what you guys are talking about. So there is a bin right over here, but there are no bins on this side. So this is, oh, wow. Oh, gosh, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm going to move one of the new caretakers if we can. Oh, that's an educator. Caretakers. At the bottom of the list, I'm just going to pick you up. Where is that? Right over here. And then put you down. Yes, yeah, start over here. Walk this way, please. And then you can clean up all this litter because this is really bad. I'm sorry. I just cannot handle myself. I'm so sorry. It would be super cool if they, if they would have like this really little animation when just popping their balloons. But they're, they don't even do anything. They just don't even care. <laughs> That's such a pity. But I just love to pop balloons every now and then. So, okay, we have the gorillas on this side. Ooh, what was that? Oh, look, Chipo. Oh, you're just so pretty, aren't you? Oh, did you, were you pregnant in the previous episode? I actually can't remember. You were. Is Enum, is that you? Oh, that is you. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was really adorable. Oh, oh, I actually have never seen one. Oh, using it. I wanted to just say. But, oh, that is really nice. So you are actually interacting with your little baby right now. Awesome. So, yeah, definitely one of my most favorite habitats still in here. And we're going to, like, take this theme and we're going to have this all the way, like, this is like a monkey aka primates world. So we're going to have a few more monkeys or primates on this area here as well. I think the chimpanzees will go somewhere over here in this particular section. And I'm actually, I, I had the idea to make like an indoor area right over here. Not entirely sure yet. It might just become a little viewing gallery here, looking into it. Maybe with like like this this roof or anything like that. Not sure. I don't think I will be working on that right now. But it's definitely going to be fun to like expand this particular area here with some chimpanzees now. It's been such a long time since we have been working on this area. So it's I think it's about time to do that. So if we just go to chimps, like, are there any chimps? 10,000? You kidding? Wait, no, I don't want to. Okay, well, these are Frontier Zoo, so I'm going to adopt these two. But how many can we actually have? Okay, we got those two, but I'm definitely not going to get that one of 10k. 
uh, 10 males up to 10 females. So yeah, we need to make sure that we have maybe like three males and three females. And then we should be good. But I'm assuming I just have to refresh a little bit to make sure that we get some more chimpanzees in here. But that's totally fine. So yeah, without further talking, I mean, there's nothing else we need to do. Can't find an accessible research center. Well, do we want to add another research center? How many do we have? Facilities, staff. We have only one research center. That's actually not that much, is it? <laughs> but I don't really think in this particular area that we have space for it. No, this is not on the inside. Do we have like an extra... Wait a second, you know what? How many workshops do we have? Because research center workshop, there's only one workshop and I know already by removing the workshop that I get a constant message here like, oh, you don't have a workshop, you need it. But I don't need it because I don't need to do any research. Uh, this is also two by two, so I can't squeeze it in right over here. Oh man, I totally forgot about this area. Look at this. The greenhouse is so cool. If you have not seen this one, you want to use it, you can download it and like the, the, the particular uh, parts, you can download them all from the Steam Workshop. So uh, definitely go and find that collection list. There's actually an extra keeper hut right over here. Maybe we can... Uh, capacity, it's inefficient, so it, it might not be used that often. Like, we have a bigger one here as well. That's it. Yes, this one is also inefficient. No, not sure why, but if I just go into here, I think we're just going to add another research center, and that should be you. Oh gosh, please tell me that I can connect you nicely. Ah, uh, this is all right. Squeeze it in here. So now we have... Okay, we, we, we do need to change that sign at some point. But now we do have another research center. Do we still work with the uh, everything work roster in here? I actually don't think so. I think I deleted it. So yeah, um, I really wonder the animal talking points that are still somewhere in a work roster it could be that i just added it in like the the otter work roster or something like that but yeah oh what am i doing here i actually want to go here let's just check one more time if there oh yes do we have more chimps okay just got one male and one female again and this is another female and this is another female this one has a really good fertility so just going to get this one and then all we need is one more male. No, 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 I'm not going to get this one. <laughs> but it's all right. I think uh, as soon as this one is done, we are able to adopt another male right over here. So let's, without further talking, let's just go and start building.
have to admit, like this build took me a lot of time because I was pretty much so burned out of Planet Zoo that I got all these people that I had no idea how to actually do this. So after I did build something that these chimps were able to walk through, I was I had no idea what to do with it. And I just had to take a little break to get back into like this, this inspiring and creative flow again. And uh, this is the end result. And I am actually quite happy with how this is looking and how this is functioning. I mean, this just feels really good and it's just the right size for it. Oh, <laughs> why? Out of all places, why are you going to sit right in between each other? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, wait. So I will make sure I, I did use... Oh god, yeah, don't look at the back. <laughs> I did make this little thing. I will make sure to put this one in the collection list of the blueprints so you can, if you want to, also use it for some kind of overpass and just make it your own size and stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, wait. First, let's go inside. Because I did say that I wasn't quite sure what to do with this area and if I wanted to do like an indoor area or not. But it did turn out to be just a pretty simple indoor area right over here. So we have the chimpanzees on this side. And you may think, oh gosh, this looks pretty boring on the inside. And I actually did use like some standard blueprints as well. But I obviously want to make sure that these chimpanzees go to the outside and not to the inside. So this is just a little, yeah, indoor section. But I... I <laughs> When I built the overpass and I was like, oh yeah, I now need to add food and stuff. And then I realized like, oh no, but the keeper is not able to go on the other side. And I, I totally forgot if that works or not. So I just added all the food things right over here and the water pipe. So I have like the ugly water pipe, you know, that one is on the other side. So they will still go to the other side all the way to there to get some water. And I will show that in a minute. So it's a pretty simple area, but I think it definitely works. So I replaced the walls here of the gorilla habitat and just made this a, a, a more neat looking wall on this side as well. Obviously, this is now turned off for climbing, so they're not able to escape or anything like that. I think this actually works quite well for a little indoor area, for a shelter area. But yeah, oh wait, yeah. For the for for the, the the umbrellas, we are now able to sell umbrellas in this corner as well. I I found this like a very boring corner, and I, I didn't have anything for it. And I was like, yes, of course, an information stand. That is just perfect. Little planter here, educational signs on this side, and uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't have enough space for these chimps, so this is all backstage only to make sure that. They kind of have enough space because they still don't have enough space. It's super frustrating that they need... Oh no, Simon died of old age! <gasps> that is bad! Oh, wait a second. You are about to die of old age. Do you actually have some gray hairs? Wait, but this means that you are... What are you? You are the female. The oldest female. But wait, what do we do? What do we do? You are about to die. We have babies in here. Oh, oh, what? What? Are you? No! <laughs> she just died from the climbing frame. Are you kidding me? Is that even a thing? Did you see her falling down? Oh my goodness. I did not know that was a thing. So I was like, oh yeah, she's going to climb. So when she comes down, she probably will die. But she just died halfway through oh my goodness okay mega mega oh my goodness i'm so sorry this happened to you so that does mean that i think you are also no you are unknown father yes okay you are the male in in this habitat but okay i'm going to release you in the wild and then we're gonna pick the oldest siamang which, okay, wait a second. You are probably the oldest one. You are a female. So we need to make sure that the rest is getting contraceptives in here. So, okay, I'm just going to do it like this. This, this should work, right? 
Okay, and then unclick that one. Is that where? Oh no, wait, this is the whole habitat. <laughs> no, wait. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, wait, they already have contraceptives. So now I'm gonna click her and then undo the contraceptives. And now we just need to make sure. I actually don't know if that works. I think, I think it will. If we just find a male about the same age, which is perfect. And we have a male from the Frontier Zoo though, but this should already work. And then hopefully they're not going to complain about the space requirements or like the sociality. We, we need to pay attention to if they are bonding or not. Man, I can't believe that that Simon just fell down. Poor Mega. Okay, let's go back to this area. So, okay, I'm cheating a little bit with like an extra backstage area just to make sure that these chimps have enough space. But this does look pretty cool. I wasn't quite sure how to do this exactly. But like having just some concrete pillars underneath there works really well for an overpass. And I think it just makes in general the area a lot more interesting having an overpass like this. And then I did find some inspiration online for climbing frames. It's not exactly, but I think if you search... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what was that? If <laughs> you search... For chimpanzee zoo exhibit, something like that. You will probably find some... Oh, this is... What the... Okay, wait. I need to turn these off or something. We're, we're just get. Oh, can I do that? Or do I need to... Oh, how do we do that for just a few pieces? Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay. Now they're all going to be boxed, probably. Only the ones that were climbing, I guess. I think just turning these off because they're not able to get on top of these twilight door planks. So I don't know what just happened there in general with like the weird climbing. But yeah, if you use search for chimpanzee zoo exhibit habitat, you will probably see something like this. And then like it's more like netting what you have right over here. But clearly that's just not, well, you can probably do that. But I, I don't really think that is going to look very well so i think just going for this i don't even know what the name is i t keep forgetting it uh sunshades triangle and they're actually also you can tell from the toy they are able to climb up on here which is just super cool isn't it i really love that so yeah they are able to climb here from everywhere but the space requirements oh like look there are the 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 chimps coming again so let me just show you like oh man I, I we can actually just expand the backstage area a little bit more if we need more space like the climbing is insanely good so we don't have to worry about that but the, um i i don't think that when they get some babies it's it's going to be too big of a deal it, it will probably stay in orange for a while but if we get some trouble we will just make sure to expand the area but I'm really happy with this area and how it's looking. Like, obviously, this is matching, like, the, the gorilla area that we have right over here. I use the same type of, of trees and bushes and stuff and the same type of style just to make this a real monkey world. But obviously, with, like, different climbing frames and these guys and have, like, this indoor section right over here. Gosh, where... <laughs> Oh, look how happy he is. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is really cute. So the water pipe is hidden right over here. So it, this one is reachable, right? Yes, this, this monkey uh, or, or chimpanzee. Oh, I can actually not even click it now. Can I? Oh, click it from here. Oh, I need to go inside. Yes, it is accessible. It's, it's accessible from a weird angle, but it doesn't really matter too much. I just wanted to make sure that the chimps were going to use the whole habitat, especially on this side as well. So they will be going over this overpass constantly when they get some food on this side as well. Actually, do I have a work roster? I think I did set that up. Work roster, chimpanzee habitat. We have one staff member and I did add pretty much yeah, there's a path right over here and there's a staff room right over here. So I, I added both of them. So like if one would be occupied, they would be able to get into the other one or are allowed to go to the other side as well. 
But yeah, this I, I am really happy with this area. It's 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 simple, but I think it does look super well, and it just really matches the whole area here with the tropical vibe. And the, oh look, this one is actually oh, okay. It's floating a little bit. If if we do this, it's not really floating, <laughs> but it works. I, it works. I, I do really like that idea. So yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of this chimpanzee. Oh wait, I just want to see this one more time. Oh, even with its feet? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of this new chimpanzee habitat in our monkey world area. And uh, do let me know any suggestions of what kind of other monkeys, African monkeys or primates, you would like to see in this particular area being added into this monkey world area. Uh, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!